about the curse. From my music and his music, every motherfucking curse word in the English language. What the? F what the filth and foul and foofy boot? What kind of garbage is that? I'm Rick James. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Getting set for a huge grudge match here in Erie, PA, the Coley Auditorium as the hometown boy, fabulous John McChesney, takes on M Dog 20, Matt Cross. And this match certainly has a lot of history behind it. M Dog, Matt Cross, and John McChesney had a best of three series this past July at a non televised event. They each split the match. The rubber match was set for a few weeks ago at CCAC at our Summer Sizzler show. However, M Dog 20 had an unfortunate facial injury. Couldn't compete. McChesney had to take on Carl Takaz instead for that Super Eddie title shot. And it was Matt Cross who interfered, causing McChesney to lose. And because McChesney lost, he did not get a Super Indy title shot here tonight in Erie, PA, his hometown of the Cauley Auditorium. As M Dog shoots the battle off the road, a shoulder block takes down M Dog 20, Matt Cross. Action continues to go fast and furious. A lead frog by the highly, highly agile Cross. And there's a picture perfect drop kick. Such great aerial leap by fabulous John McChesney on Matt Cross. And I've talked before about the change in attitude of Matt Cross as of late. He's more serious and more focused than ever. He wants to make a mark in IWC singles and tag divisions ever since losing that tag title this past May as Fab dives to the floor with a plot shot. Okay, the head of the room. M Dog 20 taken out early on as McChesney can feel it. He's got the fire, he's got the momentum behind this entire hometown crowd. The first time in several months I've seen McChesney compete here at Cauley Auditorium as M Dog goes head first into the ring step. We should mention the side of M Dog's head is still injured. Had an unfortunate incident with a ceiling fan. He's been out of action for a few weeks. That is a definite bullseye still on his head right now. As McChesney goes to work, where's he going now? Oh, he's got he's got the M Dog cardboard cutout from the backyard wrestling video game display. Of course, M Dog 20 and his partner Josh Prohibition both in that game. And McChesney adding insult to injury using that cardboard cutout. Oh, but he's right back on top of Matt Cross with a hard right hand. Irish whip and a reversal. Cross preventing himself from being sent into that post. Oh, here comes the flagpole press. M Dog using that gymnast background to his advantage. Oh! Drops down with a splash. The flagpole press. That's enough to silence the critics right there. And then he kicked him in the ding ding. Uh, Everyone's impressed. Over there by Mac I didn't know he had that in his repertoire, Joe. I know how to do that. Oh, M Dog is a very, very agile. Don't individual. ignore me. I showed him how to do it. No, New Jack, I, I definitely suggest that that might be in your repertoire in the future. You never know. I use it. I don't use it no oh, more. You, he used I to use it. Do it. Correction, I stand corrected. I substitute the death for the stable gun. Oh, so you pass the torch of the move on to Matt Cross? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Exactly right. Right, Lariat by Matt Cross takes down McChesney as uh, we can clearly see New Jack still joining us here for his ad. This thing, but we have a cover. McChesney just barely able to kick out. Joe, Fabulous has a lot on the line here. This is his hometown crowd. As you can tell, they're behind him solely in this. And if he doesn't win, it really could crush the ego of Fabulous. But that's now, what's his name? Fabulous. He told me his name was Weed. He told me his name was Weed. His, now, which one is it? his name is Fabulous John McChesney here. Fabulous John McChesney. That boy got identity crisis. Well, he don't really know who he is. He got a bunch of people inside of him. Right now, he walk in the room, people start applauding. Ain't nobody there but him. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, New Jack suggesting a little bit of schizophrenia, if you will. Yes, sir. On the part of Fabulous, or New Jack Weed to you, I guess. And he told me his name was... And earlier tonight, we... Mama named him Weed. We heard John McChesney say that he was going to defeat M-Dog 20 Matt Cross, and then he was going to move on to Chris Saban. We, we know that... McChesney had a chance to take on Chris Saban for the Super Indy Championship if it wasn't for Cross interference. We have a roll up. And I know I noticed our Super Indy Champion out here now near the broadcast area watching intently. These are oh what a vicious chop. These are definitely two of the top contenders for his title. And Chris Saban has got to be scouting these guys. He's no stranger to either of them, but definitely doing as the champion should. 
scouting all the competition. McChesney charging in, missing with the splash, hitting sternum first. Great resourcefulness by Matt Cross. Oh, almost a modified little pommel horse move to get out of the corner. Springboard with the Tatanka-like tomahawk no, chop. He, <laughs> he hit him with a wahoo tomahawk. Right off. between the eyes, too. Wahoo. wahoo. I, I stand corrected, sir. Everybody always giving Rick Flair a woo. That's wahoo. Anything chopping is wahoo. You taught me that last night. I'll try not to forget. Anything chopping is wahoo. Wahoo it's McDaniel, I understand. Great Indian Chief Wahoo McDaniel. Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Wahoo have a brief stint in ECW? Go gain the head of a drill. <laughs> I don't think you want to get him started. As Fabulous tries to counter the chin lock, Matt Cross trying to wear down McChesney, but a simple yank to hair. And John McChesney is back down horizontal, and Matt Cross is in control. Well, that's not very nice. Not very kind of words said to fans there by M Dog 20, Matt Cross. Hey, M Dog is more focused than ever. No, go ahead. It's, I, it's just like they got like one of the Negroes in the audience acting very Negroish. I've, I've been a big fan of Matt Cross. I don't understand why we got to do that when we go out in public. We got to act Negroish. What a hard Okay, back to you, Mr. Uh, announcer man. Joe, it would be politically correct for us to just listen at this point. Back and forth with chops, fabulous, hits the back elbow. There's one black person in the audience and he got to act like he from straight up from Zimbabwe. Close line, hard shot by Cross. Almost took off fabulous his head. And New Jack, trust me, are not ignoring you here. Every word you have to say. I don't but care if y'all know me. Y'all always annoy me. Because you know I'm telling the truth. See, look at him over there standing up. Ought to throw a spear at him and stick him right in the back. Boom, shot the locker, locker. You know, I've been a big fan and supporter of Matt Cross in the past, but his actions as of late, interfering in these matches, have me changing my opinion a little bit. No longer the fun-loving end dog we used to see. This guy is serious, and he's lost some of his credibility as far as I'm concerned in terms of being a sportsman. No, that's absolutely true, and I think that's what Matt Cross has lost, and that's what could very well perhaps lose it for him in this match. He, he's, he's, he's using his mopping the ring with oh, his hair. Funny. He's so mopping the funny. ring with Fabulous's hair. If that's not insult to injury, I don't know what is. Why has it got to be insult to injury? He ain't injured. He looks pretty injured to me. Well, oh, super kick. New Jack, I will never doubt you again. You're exactly right. I told you, I taught him how to do that hurricane from Granawana. Right upside the side of the jaw, and both men down. Turning point this match here for McChesney, if he can recover in front of his hometown fans. Yes, Chris Saban is definitely watching as gently as we saw a little bit earlier on. Well, you're inside the ring, Joe. Who do you think Chris Saban would like to face? I don't know. Came to one of these two. The research Chris Saban is doing is proof positive why he's been undefeated since his debut here. Chains of hard right hands and chops. They chest the across back and forth. Pal, those are definitely on the mark. Look out! Nice. Beautiful drop kick, one of McChesney's beautiful, beautiful moves in his repertoire as he gains the control as his crowd starts to come alive. Northern Lights takes M Dog down. I know Chris Saban has met John McChesney not only in IWC, but on TNA television before. And, and McChesney has improved so much since those matches last fall. Gotta wonder if it could be a different outcome the next time. And you gotta think too, these two guys are definitely gonna be not far down the line for an IWC championship match that's currently held by Eric Ecstasy. Because they're not looking, they're not looking exactly just at that Super Indy title. They blow the the Death team. Valley driver only drops the knee on the back of the head of McChesney. Knocks him silly. Do we have three almost? Unbelievable that's perseverance. Quarters, Joe. Perseverance by both men fighting through all of this hard-hitting action to finally settle this grudge. Here in, at Erie Explosion, the curse has been lifted. Look at the vertical oh. leap on the drop kick. John McChesney heavily scouted by promotions all over the world, including NWA TNA, and it's very clear to see why. You gotta think that that water hair gets in the eyes of kind of, kind of an odd haircut. Indeed, wait a second. Might be going for a little modified snake eyes, he does. Oh. Forehead first into the turnbuckle. Fab might be going for a power bomb. Might be setting up that cliffhanger DDT. We saw Saban use that move earlier. The cross counters. Duck under. Beautiful move, dropping Fabulous right on the back of his neck. 
Joe, I think Vegas odds would have to suggest that this one's about over. M Dog's looking to finish him off now. Could he be going for the cliffhanger? Insult to injury. No, Fab counters out of that move. Hit fabulous win in his hometown, and he does! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the fabulous John McKinsey! Applause from New Jack here at the broadcast booth that Chris Saban nice. saw what he needed to see. He's on his way to the back, a standing ovation from New Jack. When you have a man who's been in the business this long, been so many places as he has, held as many world titles as he has, respect does not come nice. easy. Nice. But they have earned it. A tremendous effort by both guys. Great competitive spirit. But John McChesney comes home and avenges Matt Cross's wrongdoings. What a win for Fabulous here in his hometown. And New Jack is, is requesting a showing of respect between McChesney and Cross after their, their hard-fought wars. Well, New Jack wants to see a handshake. He was that impressed by the match. And we get one. Testament to Matt Cross's sportsmanship. A testament to John McChesney as well. There you go.